Hi there. I've decided that the first thing I'm going to do is uh, take apart some of the cases that I am not going to be reusing or selling or doing anything with. So, uh, first one off the pile is this one. I'm just going to take all the parts out of it. Uh, I want something to put the screws in, aren't I? Have I got anything? I've got a cup in the cupboard, that'll do for now. Yep, that'll do. Otherwise, I'm going to have a load of screws rolling around here, there, and everywhere. So I'll just sit there for a minute while I pick these loose screws up. Um, I haven't really got anything I can sit you on so you can see into the case. Unless I stick you back up on the fridge for the time being. And, uh, so I could uh, perhaps... Well, at least you can see what I'm doing. A magnetic screwdriver is very handy for this sort of work as well, so you don't, if you drop the screws you can pick them up with them. First we'll cut that, so tie wrap, don't do that. Uh, uh, one uh, SATA cable, one ribbon cable. What we could do box really for some stuff in. I'll be right back. Alright, scrub that idea. I've got no box to put it in, so carry a bag I'll have to do for the time being. I've got a box in the outside cupboard full of computer bits, but uh, that requires digging through a little bicycle wheels and I don't know what else to get to it, so I'm not going to stay there for the time being. So, I think I'm going to start. Touching out the dial-up modem, which I'll probably end up throwing out anyway because I've got no use for it. Yeah. Believe it or not, you can actually still buy these things. No idea why. Not the invention of broadband, fibre optic and wireless. You can pick up Wi-Fi in lots of places now. So it's pretty much made dial-up obsolete. Before I'm surprised, you can still get it. Yay, the screwdriver is magnetic. Good. Makes life a lot easier when doing this. many computers and the batteries on that camera are going to last through. So uh, I'll just have to keep them all on it. Four SATA ports on this one. SATA ports. But I have it for calling them SATA ports, but I think I pronounced that wrong. I'm hoping that the... Uh, Camera microphone is enough is uh, good enough to pick me up from over here. It might be a bit quiet, so you may end up having, a, having to uh, crank your volume up. More screws, or is that the last one? Motherboard. Maybe put the screw in my drawer. 
through. Um, one thing I do like to salvage is the little standoffs that the motherboard sit on. I'll get them off. Because... One turn of a pair of flowers, and there are a few of those, but that one looks like to come loose. That's because these ones don't remove. That'll be why I can't get them off. Right. Rescue the blank plates on the side on the back here. Got 
another one. Keeping my bag cables across the floor. Okay, this one, we know the drivers are no good, so they can stay in there. We know the power pack is good, so that can come out. I think once I've done this one, I'll call it quits for the video, refresh the batteries and start another one. Uh, what do they have to zip tie all the cables together? It just makes that pain in the ass to take apart. Although I suppose it does keep the cables tight. Oh! Oh! Mm. Left one of my memory sticks in the next one. Um, oh, I see the screws on. Anyway. Right. Let's go ahead and take the sock panel off as well, because it's only held on with one screw. Sock panel off. Just in case. my camera battery is going to last. It seems to have suddenly dropped so I may actually uh, end the video here and just go and change my batteries. I do have another pair charged up ready. So uh, as this is on the red I'm going to do that so I'll be back in a And we're back. Um, I don't have any more batteries after this one and I have some batteries already in the charger, but they're the wrong size. So, I'll get as far as I can on this lot of batteries, and I'll probably be it for the whole video until I get the others charged. Uh, I get four screws in the back of this power pack. Let's take that out. may try and sell the power packs and just someone will probably make use of them. Someone who uh, still uses older machines or plays with older machines may want one for spare. Uh, I've got loads in the wardrobe so I'll go through and I'll see what there is. There's 300 watts. There's no K1 for XP. Right. No, we're on to the motherboard. Uh, yeah, leaving them in, aren't I? Because they're stuff. I never have them worked. Well, I could take them out and make a video destroying them and taking them apart. But I'm sure there's loads of videos on YouTube with people doing that anyway. 
I would much rather pull things apart like this and put them together and try and make them work. Take a hammer to them if they don't work. So if I didn't have my own garden because I'd be able to do a hell of a lot more. I can't even use my mum's garden because I can't get over there as a dog drive and uh, I have to rely on a lift and she hasn't got a car at the minute, neither has my sister. My mum had to sell hers uh, and my sister has recently given up the goats. So, I have to rely on the generosity of their neighbour, Mr Biggles to um, run them to town when they need to, to get some groceries and to make in a sort of motor vehicle out. I don't recommend the Ford Puma while we're on the subject of cars. I've just dropped that screw and I can't see it. I'll find it It's on the motherboard somewhere, so if I keep that flat, I'll find it. I remember rightly, I don't think this motherboard powered up either, did it? So, but, it does contain spares, and uh, you know, the little battery may still have some life in it. It's a nice looking heat sink and bracket. Uh, and probably the processor probably still works. Ah, uh, unscrew. Come in. Right, so there's another board. And, oh, well, obviously, all the cables will take the All in one lump, make more stone, one lump for the time then. Alright, that's another one for the scrap.
suppose it's done for obvious reasons, isn't it? If you want to change your motherboard, you can. You don't have to worry about making any extra holes for standoffs. Which I suppose you could do. Actually, I know you can do because I know someone who did it recently on YouTube. Uh, Dave from the EEV blog, he did it. Which is the um, standoffs, some of the standoffs on his new. Um, um, video rendering machine he's building didn't line up with the motherboard so he just drilled a few more and in the right place and put a few standoffs in and bobbed your uncle. motherboard in it, so that would be the second MSI motherboard I've got. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to put you back up here, and I'm going to take this one apart completely. Yeah. I don't know how much of me is getting in the shot, but not that I'm worried. I'll we'll start with removing the fan at the back here. And, uh, that's a definite keep a spare part. My main computer's got four in it, so in case one fails, I'll definitely need a uh, spare. Always get one screw, come on. Always get one. There we go, that's all. I need to dust it down. I do keep my different type of types of computer screws separate usually, but I can sort that out at another time. What else have we got? I suppose that's a good way of keeping the IDE cables out of the way. They've gone underneath the motherboard for this one. To the floppy drive. There's cables for the cable bag. So I can't get that on yet. And it looks like they've done the same for the audio cable. But 
for the front audio. Well, I never thought of that when I put computers together, I don't know. Oh, hello, we've got one screw missing, two screws missing. That's it, I think there's just two screws missing from holding this in. Naughty, naughty. I always prefer to put all screws into a motherboard if I can, just to make sure it is held in securely. We really need a better set of magnetic screwdrivers, or I need to run a magnet over this again to re magnetize it. Because as soon as you flick the screwdriver, it flies off. A lot to take out of this one, I'm afraid. Quite an easy one. Unplug the audio cable, unplug the We've got a ribbon cable, we've got one MSI motherboard. So quite a pile of bits up here, aren't I? Pull that cable off. Yeah. And I don't think I've been able to um, test it in the case anyway, because there's no buttons. No buttons, no LEDs. Well, I don't need any of this. Mm, I've got no cases up there. That will fit on. So that can stay. I do want the I.O. plate. Now, as I've said, I don't claim to be an expert with computers, but I actually have no idea if these actually have a specific use or not. So if anyone knows, let me know. Because I've used computers without these and they've worked perfectly fine, so... I don't know if they've got a specific use or if they're just there to fill a hole at the back. Mm -hmm. You tell me. I just know how to put a computer together and make it work. Although I did make a few mistakes in my uh, early years. Which will uh, probably make me laugh. I... Uh, I had my very first Windows XP computer that was very kindly built by one of my best friends. He's also a bit of a computer savvy tech type person. He's better at soft he's better at software than I am. I'm more hardware. Uh, and um, I decided to play with the computer one day. It was turned on, and stupid me thought it would be a very good idea to unplug the power cable from the hard drive while the computer was on, and then plug it back in while the computer power was on. And of course, when I did that, I caused such a power surge, it blew pretty much everything in the computer. The hard drive was knackered after that, uh, motherboard. Yeah, I, f I killed the motherboard as well. So, uh, a little bit of advice to people just starting out. Don't work on a computer when that's still turned on. Turn it off first. Just to prevent any possible shorts. But, uh, a lot of things I know is self-taught, mostly. Through my own experience, like that mistake I made with my first computer, um, or watching YouTube videos. I watch a lot of all sorts of YouTube videos. Um, videos from, pe from people that specialise in computers, electronics engineers like EEV Blog, uh, to people that fix old radios like Jim Lin. Lin, Lin Lynn Dennis, Lynn Dennis, I can't remember how to pronounce his name, so yeah, I watch quite a few people. They do various things, I watch people that do a lot of things with cycles, such as RJ the Bike Guy, for example. I watch people who um, just film their commutes to work on their bicycle, uh, such as Sutton Droid. 
the other one I watch, Cycle Gas. There's quite a few. Can't be bothered to take um, hard drive. Let me drive out, so I'll just take it out of that. Right. That's enough rambling for now. This is another case for the bin. Some people are probably thinking, why are you spending so much money just to take them apart? Well, to be fair, if the other two printers work, I've probably got my most of my money's worth sitting there in the printers alone. I don't know for a fact at least two do. Still got to investigate one, but I know for a fact two do. Two do? Two do. Um, plus I've got all these motherboards here. So I know I could get a few quid each for the parts if I want to sell them or even for the motherboards. Because uh, some people will pop buy old parts like that just to learn about computers like I did. I probably will get a lot for the motherboards. But uh, I think uh, I could get enough. Any of the cases that are complete, I'll probably sell as a complete PC. If I can get them to work. If not, because and the part that's worth the least is the case. You can pick these up brand new pretty cheap. So, <laughs> that's uh, probably the least expensive part of the whole computer is the case. For a bog standard case like this anyway, you know, it's probably not even worth £10. And uh, how scrap prices are at the minute, it's probably not even worth a pound in scrap. So. I've got a collection of side panels building up down here and I can't remember. Oh yeah, I know what they go to, that's alright. Um, so again, I'm going to turn the camera off and go on a hunt for another one. Because I know I've got several in the piles of computers that haven't got side panels or front panels. They are the ones I want to actually take apart. And uh, later on I can take the empty cases down. Because without all the guts in them, they're going to be a darn sight lighter than when I bought them up. Uh, now give me a bit more room up here and I can perhaps do a repair video. If I've got enough battery on the camera. So uh, I'll turn the camera off here and I'll be back. Okay, we have our next patient. That front panel is actually looking blue in that bit there, but it's actually grey. Now, I've got another similar case, but this bit surround is actually blue on the other case. And the other case has the panel on this side, whereas this one doesn't. But this one had the panel on this side, so I took the panel from this side and put it on the other case. So, this is the one I'm going to take apart. There's a bit got something sticky all on up there, I'm not sure I want to know what that is. So let's get cracking with this one, shall we? Uh, let's get this out of the way. Another dial up there then. things. Until I care about the dial up now, then I'll just toss them across the kitchen. Cables out of the way. I've actually found you know, when um, these old computers used to play up, that used these old ribbon cables, that sometimes an easy fix was just to replace the old E cables with a better one. And I found out on a lot of these old computers that used to make them work a lot better. Oddly enough. I don't know if anyone else has had similar experiences like that. Right. I nearly got all the cables off. Just got to take the power cables off. I don't know what brand of motherboard this is. It doesn't say. Right. Let's get the motherboard out. We'll do it a bit differently. Differently this time. We'll take the motherboard out before the PSU. Let's 
that's not a sort of pinky red motherboard. We've got three of those now. Three? Yeah, three. Uh, I think this might be the last one to take apart. I will double check when I've done this one. And I might get on to trying out a uh, repair. I've actually got another plug-in charger. I might try and charge the other two pairs of batteries up with to so get some charging in because I think that charges them quicker than the Uniros one I've got. That can take, I think, up to about 12 hours to charge a pair of a set of batteries. I've missed one. Where have I missed one? There I've missed one. It does help to take out all the screws. That should be all. There we go, there's another one. A couple of um, SATA ports on that. I must remember to say it, SATA. I keep wanting to call that SATA. Get into the 
point to where I might just throw all the screws on the floor and be done with it. But, uh, part of my mental condition is dyspraxia as well, so I do have quite buttery fingers, so to speak. But uh, I do mosey along. let whatever problems I've got get in the way of me doing what I enjoy doing. Now make me wonder why I bothered taking that out. Because <laughs> there's no problem on it. Oh. Well, the LEDs appear to be glued in, so I guess I can well, They're no good. on there, I can't be honest. Pop this back on. Cheat between them and there instead. Right. So that's this one done with. No it isn't. used for uh, other electronic projects as well. Which maybe one day I'd like to get into a bit more, maybe if I get enough for uh, a bigger place, let's say. This place really isn't big enough. Okay, so I'm done with that one. I'm going to turn the camera off again and uh, see if there's any more. If not, I might actually look at a repair. So, uh, talk to Okay, I've decided I'm going to have a clear up in here <laughs> and uh, probably try a repair. So, I'm going to call it quits for this computer take apart video and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Any comments, questions, insults, compliments, etc. in the comments section below. Thanks for what, again for watching and uh, see you later.